Hey family, today on More Party of Six, we're going to fly some drones. But look, before we get into this episode, make sure that you subscribe to this channel and make sure that you click like and share this with as many people as possible. Now let's go fly some drones. Fly it out. I normally don't do outdoor activities with the boys because it's usually too hot, bugs, mosquitoes, eh. I don't like to be bothered, but today was the perfect day to get outside. The weather was beautiful. Well, today we had it again. It's Super Bowl Sunday, and we are on our way to go fly some drones. Now, we got these drones for Christmas. We just ain't never had the opportunity to go fly them. We're going to see how this goes. Stay tuned. So at times I get a little irritated. It's like whenever we're about to go do something spontaneous, it's like we always have to clean up because of my wife's OCD. If you don't know me by now, I'm very OCD, but I usually clean up before I leave the house so when I come home it's clean and I don't have to worry about it. So we're about to leave and of course, her cleaning lot is about to get left because she decided to go clean up. So we're about to leave mom. Yeah. Definitely. About to do that. My hubby was gonna try to hold the camera and record while we're riding. That's not gonna and happen. And drive at the same and time. And drive at the same time. I'm ambidextrous. Ambidextrous. Amberdextrous, maybe? That. You know what I mean. Hell. So we pack like sardines. Trisha won't buy a minivan. She want me to get an infinity truck. So let's talk about this. Leave a comment. Should we get a minivan or should we? I don't we... even want you to leave a comment because it really don't matter. Minivan. To me. What you think? Because I'm Mini not getting a minivan. We getting that minivan. I'm not getting a. Well, you driving and you give me your truck. Let's talk about this. I have nothing against a minivan. Tell the truth, it was a nice minivan. I mean, I felt like it was a house on wheels. But, let me not say but, however, I feel like I have to hang on to the last bit of cool that mama has. I mean, I had a 2019 Pacifica, loaded, TV, three miles. She got a problem with it. Right, right, you, you right. You gotta do something then no. to get that good stuff that listen, you want. Listen, it's always, it's always, oh, let's leave a comment about this. Since he's talking session. about it. Hey, we got children in the car. We cool. We'll talk about it. <laughs> no, no, no. He said, every time it's a necessity need in this house, he tell me I got to do something. Y'all tell me what more I need to do besides being mom, CEO, mom, CFO of the house. But that second part ain't, a fit, ain't sufficient. We're not sufficiently acting in that area, in that role or that area. What so, role? CEO, all this stuff. I'm not. So, so we about to... I'm not? No. I don't? No. no I don't know. Because it's still loose ends. It's not done well, in, in excellence. Like, you know what I mean? Like, don't get me wrong. The bills get paid. That stuff on time. Sometimes. I still get calls from people like, hey, you still owe me. I'm like, I owe you. You don't get called. You got to call one time because no, I forgot. at least three times. <laughs> Y'all still mom? That Dad, wasn't even my, my fault. Synchrony, That's because they're um all that stuff. I don't have the login to see. So what my <laughs> husband will do is he'll try to he'll open up stuff that I don't have access to, and I tell him, "Hey, babe, when you open up an no. account, you have to give me authority well, to log I, I in because I can't." All we gotta do is call, put me on the phone. It's like, well, I can't. Oh, do this. so I, I have to call and then put him on the phone for his account yeah, that he opened. Monday and Tuesday, like, because right. I'm out here killing the cat. All you gotta right. do is make a phone call. Why? Right. Right, right, right. You see what I have to go through? All I have to do is make the phone call for an account he opened. Right. But I, I got a solution. I'm just paying it off tomorrow. Right. So, That's how that works. You yeah, see what I mean? And so, like I said, if there's a necessity, it's like, well, you got to do more than what you're already doing because no, I'm not sufficient I, and I have loose ends and I'm not doing it in excellence. Yeah, like if I still got to go pay somebody to pay the bills to... You don't have to pay nobody to pay the bills. You opened up five different companies to do your taxes. That ain't got nothing to do with bills. Right, but I can't even. Get I can't you to do cut five to companies to do taxes without it being like a tug of war. No, no, no. It's not about doing that. See, not this is the part where that's why we going to marriage counseling. You'll call me in the middle of my day. Hey, babe, cut this check or just text me. 
And I'm gonna start telling you stop texting me because we sit down on Mondays. I'm like you. Whatever you didn't discuss on Monday, don't come throwing it at me because you, you don't know how my day going. Monday. But I've been asking, you just been busy. No, no, no. You haven't been asking. When I, I come, have. it's like, well, I gotta do this. Okay, that's, that's why we're gonna go to counseling. However, like, I can't cry over spilled milk. All I can do is make adjustments. And, and so, and so, and so, I'll make an adjustment, pay somebody to do it. I'll put kids in private school. So now your time freed up. So if you want the better half of what we can do, help me out a little bit. That's I'm not I'm in saying. a rush to get a car though. I didn't say I had to get a million van. You said this is sufficient. I didn't go looking for the car. You said you didn't like this. You want to switch out the car, but I said I didn't want a minivan. I didn't look at nothing. So I shouldn't be the one having to say, Oh well, you need to do something. That's kind of not nice. No, I'm just saying, help me out, like. Oh, I right, help cool. you out, like, but it's not a value to you. What I do is so not a value to so you. So if it's if it's an infinity, I can't do infinity. I, can't I didn't do, say I wanted an infinity. You know, I can't do that. But what I can, do, what I can afford, what we can afford right now, with without any extra financial help, is a brand new 2019 under warranty, three mile, nice. It's not even a minivan. They call it a. I forgot what they call it. Like a Pacifica. Yeah. What I can't do right now is not get nothing because it's going to be sales tax. No, mama, it has good ratings on it. It does. <laughs> it has very good ratings, but I don't have to have it. Like, that's not a, a need right now. But how you mama, do that with, like, my I'm friends who want to go do the pull-up game? And you like, like, this is the adult move. Like, this is the move where, as an adult, we should say, Man, it's the best move, but you can dish out the information. Because I don't want to have to have any uh, extra stress on me when we have to pay the sales tax, and you looking at me like we'll do something. No, well, let's see, let's alleviate sales tax. Let's alleviate any other cost. I'm saying that we can personally afford that one now. Brand new, under warranty TV, sufficient space, and I'm saying, hey, you know what? If that's what we can do right now. Just so we can get in a situation where the kids are not bunched up and we're not walking around in a little sardine can here because we got a new baby. Let's just make an adult move. It got a warranty, three miles. Um, it's nice. We can travel. We don't have to rent cars when we go on vacation anymore. And then, you know, as we grow, you grow in your business, that would be a sufficient gift from mommy, from the family. Like, no, nah, y'all, we ain't rocking like that no more. Now we about to get this brand new Escalade truck. And that's something that mommy's going to do for this particular brand of family. I can go get you an Escalade, but it won't be the same. Like, I think you got to have things that you've accomplished on your own solo of what we do. I think I need to have my husband uh, congratulate me on the things that I've accomplished that's, that make me feel valuable and not always say that, oh, well, I need you to do something because there's plenty of things that I've done. It ain't about me going to acquire a material thing. It's about no, what... I'm saying, like, you can't... No, you... You know, what I'm, what I'm telling no. you is that you have an issue... I don't have an issue no, with acquiring you material things. You sometimes have an issue... Like, you know, when you like, man, I'm getting older and there's some things that I personally want to do. It don't got nothing to do with I'm, going out and getting a car. I'm talking about you being sufficient in your own things. Like, you can work under the things I do, but it doesn't seem to make you happy. What seems to make you happy is if you have your own independence of things that you're doing and acquiring. Not just stuff, but just accomplishments. Saying, okay, I did what I had to do. People are buying into my brand. I'm enjoying it. Like, I think 28,000 people on Instagram is dope. I think you working out and changing your body tremendously is amazing. Now I'm just saying for your own personal thing, like, you know, I gotta not keep pacifying it and saying, like I had a 48 hour death scare. So I realized that you wouldn't be sufficient if I wasn't here. So now I have to say, okay, babe, we gotta find a way that if anything happens, of course, life insurance, monthly stuff is coming in, but I gotta make sure that you equip. I don't want you not equipped. That's all I'm saying. So if it's stuff that that's your rabbit that make you go, cool. If it, if that's not your rabbit, what is? Like for me, a plane is my rabbit. I want a plane, so I'm going hard all this year to do 20 million. It's a lot of things I could have done that I've sacrificed not to do. What? Like I could, I told you, I could have easily been uh, working towards a lot of stuff that I want to, but I, I, the opportunity wasn't there. We didn't set aside a budget to get a full-time nanny so mommy can do the stuff that she needs to do right but now day. we got a full-time private school 
Yeah, but now we got a full time baby again. Like the whole purpose was when we put him in school, it was gonna be an opportunity for me to get to do stuff. Like any mom knows, if you at home with a newborn, you could do only so much. Like oh yeah, of course, but you I'm, can I'm do thinking, a whole lot I'm of. More, I'm thinking one year from now. Like even there, I said oh I got two. I'm people. talking about today. I'm like not I talking about you, one I told year you I had two people that could move with us, but you said I don't like them people. Who can you help did us not out? say two people that could come down and visit. You just see say how move. it works. She's like I don't really. The one person you're like, I don't oh, really. We have to find somebody to agree on. Just because we didn't agree on them two people, does that mean you stop? Like, I don't get it. Is it black and white? Like, okay, maybe them people might not be a fit. Maybe she sees something I doesn't. Well, that doesn't mean you don't keep looking. I'm still looking, babe. But those people are people that we knew and we trust. And I tr personally trust them around my children. They've worked with them on, you know what I mean? They either work with kids, they love You've them. You've never had people in your house 24-7 around them to so know. That's they the thing. Seven, well, the, the second person, they stayed with us. They weren't even there. <laughs> they just but they helped us, babe. had luggage there and then left. I no, I'm talking about St. Louis. One from St. Louis. I know. Oh, gee. Was Lin, gone. Lynn Woods took great care of everybody. Oh, yeah. Lin, I told you Lynn Woods is good. I'm okay with her. It's like every time I bring up her doing something, she puts it like I don't value what she's doing. All I'm saying is that I feel like everybody should have a certain level of independence, you know, especially when you're not happy with everything being provided for you. So that lets me know that you want to have your own. I just want to be supportive to what she's doing. Somebody is gonna sleep through this, I believe. I think she's the second cutest um, family girl because David had the cutest girls. Who had the cutest? David, remember how God blessed him with the cutest and the most amazing kids? They um. Preston, where the bottom. where the little Prince go? Preston already on the playground. Oh, he already on the playground. Preston ain't waiting for nobody. He already gone. Y'all ready to do this? Go. I love going to play because it's really fun to go on the slide, and I go and I love to jump down on the monkey bars. Bro, I can't wait to find my drone. It's red, it's shiny. I don't know how it's gonna work because this is my first time using an actual drone. Cool. Everybody stand back. Okay, everybody stand back. Hold on, one sec. Whoa! Whoa! So this one doesn't work. This is Princeton's. So now he's like really, really wanting to go over there and, and do patents. Let me tell you something. I always try to do two by two. Everything you get, you gotta get two of them. But I tell you what, when one malfunctions in the middle of us doing what we're doing, that's terrible. So now Princeton is following Peyton to say, hey, let me borrow yours. I want to use yours. Because he is, is acting funny over here. Uh-oh. Peyton is a sim. Amazing. So now I gotta get crafty and try to find a way to let Peyton teach him because here comes the cry. I knew it. Yes, What's wrong, Pooh? What's wrong? Use your words, not your tears. Use your words, not your tears. What's wrong? I know, so he's not gonna let you have it right right now, but we but he's gonna teach us how to fly it as soon as he finishes, okay? I'm gonna have, 
Are you listening or you just want to cry? You just want to cry? You just want to cry? Okay, come over here so you can just have your cry. And then after you finish crying, then what I'll do is I'll have Peyton help you and let you see his, okay? So finish crying because I know it hurts. And then I'll have Peyton help you. Is that okay? All right, great. So we'll be right back. He's going to keep crying. And uh, I'm going to try to make this the best day possible. Well, Jones that when I'm working well, so it was, I was a little bit. So how I feel is sad. Pain was waking, and I did it for pain. Hey, I love my drone. There's a lot of tricks, but I can't let my brother have it. If you have a sibling, sometimes they break everything you have. No, no, no. Can, can, can I t let him test drive yours? I'll stay with him. Okay, here. Yay. I'm trusting you guys. Okay, can I try? Wait. So with this, this is how you go up. You go up like that, but you gotta bring them down though, okay? Hold on one second. It ain't, it ain't gonna do nothing right now. Stop for a second. Peyton went this way. Wait, let me see it. Yeah, yep, it's good it's now. It's working now. Go ahead. Hey! Good job, boy! Yeah! Since I'm trying to teach him how to share, I just shared my drone so he wouldn't cry. I love. Fly a pan, Joe. Thanks, Pan. It's super cool how I do it. So the whole time we flying the drones, having a good time, Trisha just walking around mad as hell because she feel like I don't value her. In a normal circumstance, I would just kind of just let it go, not communicate about it, and then we'll be mad for a very, very long time. But this time, I figured I'll just be gentle. My husband seems to think raising kids is easy. You try staying at home for 24 hours, and don't get me wrong, it's truly a blessing because I know there are people out there wishing that they could be at home with their kids 24 hours. And I get to, and I don't take it for granted. The truth is, moms, you can tell me if I'm right or wrong. There are moments when those kids will make you wanna pull your hair out. And unfortunately, he hasn't seen those days because he gets the opportunity to leave to go follow his dreams while I'm at home with our beautiful children. And sometimes they fight all day long. Paisley might be crying. Princeton was going through a whining phase. He's overcoming it, but him and Peyton fight all day long. So sometimes it makes you want to go crazy. Y'all missed the whole reconciliation thing. But she doing cool. She got a smile on her face now. What I do wrong? He threw me under the bus. Yep, and I picked her right back up and healed her wound. What's up, boy? That was player. So the part that's important is you saw us in the choir getting an attitude, but you didn't see how we reconciled. Come here, Willie. What I do? You gotta sit down, cause sit they didn't. We missed the good. We missing the good parts. So I was mad at Willie cause I felt like he threw me under the bus. Because first thing out of his mouth was that we learned in counseling is you don't fact check when you have an argument. You don't start bringing up stuff. Okay, so oh, your brother a little bit, man. the most important part of our little conflict. No, just a little bit. Come on, man, be a good brother. I'm sorry. All right, I won't let you play Super 19. You won't be like that. A little bit. You say no. All right, cool. Four year olds. So basically, what I heard in the car is you can't choose what you want because you don't work. Basically, so you don't have a right to say anything. That's what I heard. 
And then he started fact checking, which is what we learned in marriage counseling we're not supposed to do. Like, why well, I have to go do this and I have to do that? Apples and oranges, that's not what we were talking about. I make mistakes, you can grace me for my mistakes, but I have a life, Willie has a life, I'm busy. And I felt devalued. I felt like what I contribute to this family and what he said earlier made me feel like what I contribute to this family was not of value. So we had to sit here and talk because I was in my feelings. I was like, don't worry about it. I am going to go off and do something that makes me feel valuable and stop sacrificing what I want to do so that I can bring in coins so he doesn't feel like he's the only one bringing coins into the household. Right? Right. And I still need to do that. Like, I thought that putting a whole lot of stuff to the side and being there for the family and ripping and running for them was, you know, and not to say that you shouldn't have your own goals, but it comes with time. And I just had a new baby, so I had to start all over again trying to get that balance back and finding myself again. But now I see it's an urgency to um, kind of push the pedal to the metal. And bring it back full circle. If that's what you thought, what do you what do you think I said now? After our conversation. What he was trying to say was that the type of person that I am, and because I'm about to be 40, that I don't feel um I don't feel as fulfilled, that's the word, as fulfilled because I'm not able to go out and acquire the things that I want to acquire on my own. Right. Coming from a place of independence, right. there are things that I want to do, and not to say that what's his is not mine and what's mine is not his, it just feels good sometimes to have it come in in my name and call it pride if you want to but as a person approaching 40 and you look back over your life even though the world says being a mom okay, is cool, cool. the number one job in the okay. world right so sometimes it doesn't feel was, like it i'm sorry i don't want to interrupt it didn't come off like that it came off like he was fact checking me right but do you feel that way now or not not that you came back and explained what you really was trying to say right but it hurt my feelings yeah. earlier because i was like really it's nothing well, in your I the truth. yes i can feel like you said something that hurt my feelings words do hurt six and so stones breaks our bones and words do hurt so as a so as a woman go ahead you gotta catch it baby hurry up where's your wife yeah go ahead just you know just try to you know kind of yeah, just hold that on there. That's yeah, why I gave it to you. Hold that on there and then kiss around. Like, yeah, there you go. Um, and then you always have that. <laughs> so, what, what part of my approach did you like the second time, which brought you to this one? He tried. So, love is patient, love is kind, is gentle. He tried the gentle approach instead of going back and forth with me. And and normally it's like this is how he apologized. Well, I'm sorry if what you heard hurt you two seconds <laughs> what you two what seconds. i said you took the wrong what, way that's how you apologize what, did I do what this you time? said what was different about i just this said time? i'm trying to make it what what i'm trying to make it taste oh he took princeton we got a thousand gatorades at home and you had a whole big popsicle this is not the time to have a meltdown don't have a meltdown you good Go ahead you started off trying to say I'm sorry what you heard hurt you. That's what you started off saying. That's no, how I'm you saying started like, at first. But like, then you came default, back. Your default setting is to always see the bad. No. What happened good though? Like I just want to know what changed. That's so what maybe I said. I you came again. back gentle and you said For example, what? my approach, what I really meant was this is what I was trying to say. Right. So you came back and explained really what you meant. Not what you not how it came off, but you wanted me to fully like maybe you misunderstood what I was trying to say, which is why you got mad. So let me explain myself. Right. So you took the time to come back and say, you know, I understand the type of person my wife is that you want to feel like you contributed and did it yourself own, like, did it on your own independently yeah because for years and years like i just always felt like you know i can pay all the bills i can 
give you the life that you want and it still never really gave you the fulfillment that I thought a person who has the opportunity to raise the kids with free and clear. I was like, well, maybe it's something that her, she like, feel like she's putting off or pushing behind. I just think it's so because it, so society, it like gotta, sorry, I cut you off, go ahead. No, I just feel like no matter what I personally do or whatever I provide, it just never feels like yeah. that's fulfilling you. They don't, like, although you help with the kids, you help take care of the bills, you, you take care of the house. It's almost as if you don't feel as if your uh. It wasn't thing. even tasting good anyways. <laughs> How'd you do that? You spit it up. No, he was trying to pour it. He was trying to pour. It. Okay. And it didn't even taste good anyways. So go to go tell the man, pick it up. Tell him it was nasty and see if you can get another one. And it dropped because you were trying to get the juice and it didn't have it. Ask him, can you exchange it, huh? Oh man, pick it up. Put it back in the car. He's right there, apart. Go over there and say, it wasn't what I thought, it was dry and I was trying to get the juice. Can I get something else? Princeton, come back. Come back. So, I don't know what I was just saying, because everything... You... But, in any event, I just feel like she has to fulfill her, uh, you know, do something that, that makes coin, gives her influence on her own without me being so, so a part of it because we've done that for the last 10 years and it just feels like something is missing personally from her. She needs to feel like, oh yeah, well, but I took care of that. I think everybody has to feel that way though. They do. Like, I, I don't think, think you're wrong in that approach. I don't feel like you're ungrateful because of what I bring to the table. I feel like that's fair. And that's all I was saying. Like, maybe the car can be our rabbit. Like, oh, so, you know, sometimes you gotta learn how to go get things before you can move into purpose. Like, that's how I moved into purpose. Like, okay, I gotta get a house for my family. Gotta make sure that we financially straight. And it just so happened I jumped into my purpose and I never stopped going. And so now I keep on bringing up, I, you know, I, I keep on making up emergencies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I think in the society we live in now and how I heard, heard my husband, sometimes the words that we say can make you kind of second guess. And I'm not and perfect. I said it wrong. Like, you can check the tape. I probably, my energy probably was off. Because, you know, once we get into it, we into it. So, yeah. Hi, boo. <laughs> he like his daddy. His daddy, 85 years old, they shoot from the hill. Yeah, we shoot from the hill. And sometimes he likes to shoot hard and hurt me. But see, instead of me fighting back like I normally would, guess what I do now? I just go cry. And then oh, you see you me say, I was over here. You couldn't see me because I was from behind. You just went and got me. I got quiet. Yeah, I got quiet. But anyway, as I was saying is, um, sometimes you could be working so hard and sometimes you feel like the people closest to you throw you on the bus and make you feel like you're not valued. So it's like, why do it? I might as well be out here hustling and bustling because I thought what I was doing was helping you so you could provide, protect, and be the priest over the family. Like, I thought that was our contribution, our agreement. And so at that moment, I was like, well, why am I doing this? I might as well not. But we talked about it, and that's what it takes, communication. That's, that's what we're learning, and we're learning not to fact check each other and really speak from our feelings so we can get to a resolution. And it didn't last as long as it normally does. Oh, that was like a whole 45 minutes of like, you know, kind of sorting it out. And then when I went over there, God said maybe, you know, just in my heart I felt like maybe I said it wrong and maybe she didn't know what I said, you know. Uh, and then you just got to be sensitive to what a person is going through personally. You know, and I felt like, you know, personally, and then God showed me, like yesterday the girl just told you she was going, you know, she was fighting off some, some different feelings that she had. And so maybe she's yielding to that and can't hear what you said, so go be gentle. So that's what I did, and now she got a smile on her face, so I feel, I feel good. Amen. And, and now, now she's she trying hungry. to get food fed. <laughs> but in the midst, and parents, listen to this. In the midst of us trying to do all this resolution, you be having kids running in and out. They have conflicts at the same time. <laughs> right. It's always a distraction to keep you, and then you'll stay in your argument because you're like, what? What do y'all want? Y'all arguing, the kids like having issues, and you never get to the real like solution. But we was able to see here right on this bench. You see this bench right here? While they was playing on this beautiful playground right here. I think this should be our huddle spot though. We talked. I think we should make this our huddle spot because there's enough people here. So don't get me wrong, we got a little loud, but it wasn't like. Oh, no. so. It was just very stern and direct. What? what? A little piece fell. This one right here. All right, baby. Hey, baby. This one. Hey, Pray baby. for this one. Hey, baby. Go throw that. Go throw that part in the trash. Why here? Good. You don't have to pick that up. 
Yeah. Well, good, good job. Thank good you job. for picking okay. it up. Or, or not. Either way. Go pick all that up and throw it in the trash. Go, hey, hey, go pick that up and throw it in the trash. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, at home. <laughs> <laughs> More party of six. What can I say? Now that we got everything moving in the right direction, it's time to go home and do what we do. Highs and lows and devotion. Flat out. Highs and lows. Who wants to start? Mm -hmm. Princeton, you start. Go ahead. I don't have any notes today, so my high is. I don't have. So I had a good day at school. Okay. Peyton, highs and lows. I got no love, but my high is that I literally just did a 360 dunk, and I did, and now I, I'm trying to learn the under leg thing. Okay. Highs and lows, Trish. Hey, so what's your highs and lows? Mm -hmm. That you're still hungry and you're trying to get it. Mm -hmm. Um, my lows is that Paisley was having a hard day today because she has gas. And she, she was real whiny. fussy and whiny. And she know how to stand up. She does. That's a high. Um, my highest today was that um, I had a good conversation with a friend. Made me realize something what you really that mean? I wanted to tell you about. I don't know if you want me to say it now. But um, I got most of my errands done today, so that was good. Yeah. And I started my homework for counseling, which hopefully I could finish. And send it over to her because I promised her I'd be done by Monday. Oh. So I had no lows. Um, okay, one little low. I, I don't usually focus on no lows. I left Princeton's blanket mm -hmm. this morning. I had to come back to the school. But my high of the day is well, that I, I, I'm talking. Let me finish, please. Um, I got a chance to cut 20, 20 checks for government shutdown wow. working. Finally got all that out. So we gave another $18,000 away. Um, so this week, I just want us to go back to a familiar scripture just so we can learn how to communicate with each other. Sit right, please. Sit right, please. Get up, get your toes out your fingers. I just finished working out. I still got my sweatband. <laughs> All good. Um, I want to talk about communication and the right way to communicate. Um, James 1.19 is our scripture of the week. James 1.19. James what? 1.19. Indeed. It says, Know this, my beloved brothers, that every person be quick to hear, slow to speak, and slow to anger. Know this, my brothers, let every person be quick to hear, slow to speak, and slow to anger. And so I want us this week to really focus in on listening more than we get angry, more than we start speaking to each other. Because it's important that we hear each other correctly. Because if you don't hear correctly or get understanding in what you're hearing and you begin to speak and you get angry, sometimes you can get angry over something that a person really didn't say. You know, like you can take something the wrong way. So let's be really, really, really intentional on how we hear things this week. And I want us to be very, very slow to speak, slow to anger. Ask a lot of questions. If you feel like, you know what, I don't know if I got that right. That kind of offended me. That kind of hurt my feelings. Sometimes things that hurt us aren't what it is. And so we got to be smart about how we react to it. I've been practicing this new thing with mama. I just say, so mama, let me just get this right. Did you say boom, boom, boom? And sometimes she's like, no, that's not what I said. <laughs> but I want to make sure that we're hearing each other so we can speak correctly so we don't be angry at each other. Angry. All heads bowed, all eyes closed. Prince, Prince, you'll start off and I'll finish. Let's okay. go. God, I thank you for, uh, th thank you that we get some sweet sweet, and uh, I hope we do a, a good job today. At school, we get some get rest, and get, we do our best way. Father, I thank you so much for Princess Prairie, Lord, it's so pure. I pray that you cover this family this week with it being um, communication we you know give us the wisdom to be quick to hear slow to speak slow to anger we just honor you so much for your word because we know that your word is pure your, your, your motives were correct when you wrote it lord and we know that it can excel us lord god in the area of communication lord we say a special prayer for people all across this country who are going without 
And Lord, I just pray for every person who's going to receive a check in the next week or so. We pray that that little seed goes a long way in their life. And Lord, we're putting it in the ground and believing that you're going to bless us as well, a hundredfold. It's tough this month, but we believe in all of our heart that influential people are thinking of ways to bless us. We declare opportunity and money coming to us from the north, south, east, and the west. Even as we speak right now, I believe you're pricking the hearts of people who want to pour into us so we can continuously be a blessing to this nation. We thank you in advance. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Next time on More Party of Six. Good morning, Willie Mark Jr. Earl, flight, and I'm heading to St. Louis, Missouri um, for the Missouri Athletic Hall of Fame ceremony.